If Factory Talk Links is Rockwell's premier integration into the Rockwell controllers, and Factory Talk Links is not an OPC UA or an OPC DA server, then how do we allow third party OPC UA clients or OPC DA clients to utilize Factory Talk Links? The way we do this is through a product called Factory Talk Links Gateway. So the purpose of this video is to walk you through a quick tutorial on how to set up Factory Talk Links Gateway. Factory Talk Links Gateway version 6.1 and later has added the ability to create secure OPC UA server endpoints. This allows OPC UA clients to create a secure connection with Factory Talk Links Gateway and to exchange encrypted data with Factory Talk applications. To be able to make all this work, we must first set up Factory Talk Links to communicate with the controllers. So the first thing we have to do is open up Factory Talk Administrative Console. Then we will create a new application. And there we're going to find a new area. And now in that area, we're going to define a Factory Talk Links data server. Now, what I like to do, well, at this point, you've actually got to go through and set up a shortcut to your PLC. So get a shortcut a name and then browse to the controller. At this point, I like to test to make sure that we're actually able to communicate with the controller. I will use the Factory Talk Links data client to verify communications. We'll select the application that we just defined. Now I should be able to go down and browse to the tag. Now I've got a tag in here underneath the oven, which is give me back a temperature. Just going to read it to make sure we see the data is updating. So that's the tag in my controller. I can see it's updating. So now I know that Factory Talk Links is configured correctly. Now it's time to set up the gateway. We can define it by clicking on here. That will open up the gateway configuration utility. Or we can start it from down here. I'll just start it from here. First thing we ought to do is go through server configuration. And we got to define a directory scope. Again, I'll select the application. Now I want you to notice here that I can actually inhibit the OPC UA, which means that it wouldn't work. And the same thing for the DA. I can inhibit the DA. For our purposes, I'm going to leave them both turned on. The register with discovery service. This is an option under the UA service that will register the Factory Talk Links Gateway UA server with the OPC UA local discovery server. This will allow an OPC UA clients to browse to the Factory Talk Links Gateway server. So it's going to enable us to browse it and find it instead of allow instead of us having to go in and actually uh, type it out. So we're going to select it and register it with the discovery service. At this point, we're going to set up the UA server endpoints. First thing we got to do is we have to add one. So we're going to click add. Now you can go in and actually change these names. Right now, it's default is Factory Talk Links Gateway One. I'm just going to keep the keep the defaults but you can modify them before it's created. And you can see the port number. And you can also see the security. Now, one thing I want to point out is we're set up for anonymous. So that means anybody can connect to it. We could set it up to where it's got Factory Talk Secured User. We're going to add it. Now, at this point, I want to open up an OPC UA client. It's just a test client made by Softing. It's an accomplice partner of Rockwell. And I'm going to go and browse. Now, you remember earlier I said you could browse to that server. This is an example of what we're doing. We're actually browsing to that one that was registered. 
I'm going to do a validate. When I do a validate, what I'm actually doing is I'm getting the certificate, a trusted certificate. I'm saying I trust that, that OPC UA server. But you notice I still got an X on the validate. My problem right now is because the factory talk gateway has got to trust the client. So sometimes you have to actually close the gateway um, application back down and restart it and go to the certificate management and you'll see down at the bottom it's asking do we want to or we're going to accept this because it's trying to register with us and we're going to say yep we're going to trust this OPC UA client. So trust that. Say OK. Hit validate again. Got a green check box. It means we should be good to go. Now if you notice it opens up. So now I can actually go through and browse to that tag and I'm going to browse to that very same tag again, that oven uh, temperature and we're going to verify that we can actually read it with this OPC UA client. So what's happening at the end of the day is we're, our Factory Talk Links is communicating with the controller, is putting it into Factory Talk Services and now this Factory Talk Gateway is connecting to the services and exposing those tags through an OPC UA connection and it's allowing that client you can see we are updating so that's all there is to setting it up so how do you set up factory talk links gateway to allow third-party OPC DA connections so that it can acquire data for, from the Rockwell controllers through factory talk links so the way you do that is you go through and you'd set up an application as it done with the OPC UA underneath the Factory Talk Administrative Console, created an error area, created a data server, and then set up the communications path. After that, you go into the OPC uh, Factory Talk Links Gateway configuration. You would define your uh, Factory Talk directory scope just like I did before, select it, say OK. Then just make sure that the uh, DA server is not inhibited. Click apply, and then after you click apply, it should come back and go to running and then say OK. So that's pretty much all you got to do from the Factory Talk Links Gateway configuration. So let's go in now and test that to verify we're getting data through uh, to the OPC DA client. So I'd go in here and do server, connect, connect to the Factory Talk uh, Gateway product. Uh, create a group. Now I'm just going to add an item, and you can see I got the Factory Talk Gateway as my server. I'm just browsing down through the uh, down to the controller, and let's select the same one we did before, the same tag. Look at that oven temperature and verify that we are actually getting data. Say OK. You can see, in fact, I am getting data. So it's fairly simple to set up the Battery Talk Links Gateway to allow OPC DA communications. The only thing you will want to potentially pay attention to is if you've got the OPC DA client loaded on a box different from the Battery Talk Links Gateway, you may need to install this remote. Uh, factory talk links gateway uh, and what it does is enables the OPC DA client to access a remote OPC DA server like factory talk links gateway without installing Rockwell automation software on the OPC DA client computer it is intended to you to, for use with the OPC DA clients do not support server enumeration and cannot discover or identify remote OPC DA servers so you may need to install that and during the install the remote OP the remote factory talk links gateway installer configures the windows firewall and security settings to allow decom communications between the opc da client and the remote factory talk links gateway so you may want to look at installing that if it's on the uh if it's on a remote computer and this is in the uh factory talk links way getting uh, factory talk links gateway getting results guide and you can see the uh, PDF document. So uh, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope this video helps y'all guys. And once again, uh, thanks for watching.